Here we have each of these. We just got to match the letter with whatever it is. And this symbol right here, we'll take a closer look at these. This is the less than symbol. Remember that because it kind of looks kind of looks like an L kind of a lot more like an L than the other, which would be greater than. And the only option we have for that for less than is oh, none of those. None of those say less than. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. But if we were graphing this, what kind of line would it give us? A dashed line, so I apologize. That one is a dashed line, D. Let's look at the rest of these. The addition method. The addition method is a method that we use to solve systems. So distance equals rate times time doesn't make any sense. Nor does infinite solutions. That would be the solution to a system. Inverse matrix. A matrix, yeah, that works, but uh, we're not really looking at an inverse of a matrix. Or any type of matrix. So E doesn't work either. Or no solution. Uh, it's not a solid line. It's just that it's the elimination method. I don't know why they call it the addition method. Because sometimes we could subtract the two. But whatever. G. D equals R times T. Well, D represents distance. R is rate and T is time. A. Uh, matrix identity. That is a matrix denoted as I. I for identity. E. If we ever solve and we find that 0 equals 0, sometimes we didn't go that far, but if we did, we would find that there would be an infinite number of solutions. That's B. And parallel lines have the same slope, which isn't an option here, so it looks like it's no solution. There are no solutions to two lines that never intersect. You guys remember that?